Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we have got one system from the user um, Ujavari ND. I'm hoping I'm saying your name right, apologies if I've completely just butchered that. But yeah, their system today is called the Quasi Star System. So we can already tell this is going to be pretty big, just by the star alone. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us here. So, if we open the simulations... Okay, there it is. Right, let's see what we got. Okay, right. This is a system around a quasi star. There are 12 planets, some of which have moons. The system contains a brown dwarf for Hattel planets and moons. There's also some asteroids and a dwarf planet. Right. Interesting. So, the quasi star itself in the middle. Here it is. So, obviously, very big, very nasty. 33 AU, 5,000 suns in mass. That is enormous. So, looking good. I really love the way the stars look in this update now. They just look so much better. Right, anyways, first of the planets, Quasi Star A. And also one of the features as well is, obviously, when you change objects, the zonal changes as well, remember? That was uh, something they mentioned in the last notes as well at some point. But yeah, here's first planet. As we can see, it's pretty expected. This thing's going to be pretty warm. Let's go to realistic as well. Okay, looking good. So, obviously, being next to a star like that, going to have a lot of radiation and stuff, probably. I mean, if we look at its uh, luminosity as well, ridiculously bright. I mean, um, where is the zone, actually? Put the zone back on. Yeah, that's uh, pretty crazy. So we'll see actually how far out this system actually goes. Uh, Quasi Star B. It's Planet B. So this one looks like it must be tidally locked, maybe, if it's suddenly hot on one side. Interesting. It's 23. It's 135 AU away, so that's very, very far. I mean, actually, how far away is the first planet? That must be beyond the orbit of Neptune. Easy, yeah, 72. So that's um, pretty crazy. Orbital period's only eight years, but it's 72 AU away, eh? Yeah, okay. Very, very interesting stuff indeed there. All right. Okay, cool. Also, guys, apologies if you can hear any background audio because I have to have my windows open at the moment because it is very, very hot where I am at the moment, so... Yeah, trying to do that, trying to film with the window shut is just going to cook me alive. So apologies if you can hear any background audio um, outside. <laughs> but anyways, moving on, Quality Star C. So what we got here, I want to say this is a... Has it got water on it of some kind? Or? I'm not sure, actually. Has a faint atmosphere. Doesn't look like any water on it, though, no. Okay. Maybe a world at once would have hosted water. But not anymore. 339 degrees there. Okay. Quasi star D. So we've got a Venus like world here. Okay. So pretty much does look exactly. Oh, it is Venus. Okay. So it actually is Venus. So very, very hot version. I can see the lights. Or well, not the lights, the lava um, there. So pretty crazy stuff indeed. Okay. So we have a Venus um, copy in here. Right, then we have a bunch of asteroids, all these guys here, so they don't even have trail colours. So they're all just asteroids. Quasi Star E, what have we got here? So Mars, okay, it literally is Mars, okay. Okay, so there's Mars, Mars and Venus. Uh, next up we've got Quasi Star F, got a nice gas giant design here, look at that, it's looking good. Got a um, moon very close to it as well, oh, very, very close. And actually has a second moon as well. Looks like this one's losing material or some kind. What's going on here? Something's going on. I think Roosh Limit is tearing that apart. You can see, yeah, we need to press play. I want to see what that's all about. So let's have a look. Uh, let's speed up time. Oh, it's been destroyed. Oh, the stars exploded. Oh, oh. Well, that's um, that's quite big. <laughs> that's, that's quite a large explosion. Wow. Okay. So that's just decided no. The so star is gone. Okay. Maybe the update into this version of the game, because we're also in the new update now. But before, this system is probably made in an older update. Maybe the Quasi Star, um, maybe it doesn't like this version of the game so much. Oh, dear. Okay. Anyways, Quasi Star F, we were there, weren't we? So here we are. So a very, very nice blue gas giant there. Also, if we go to realistic, you see it as it actually is. Cool. Go um, directional as well. Why not? Yeah, quite a nice uh, shade of blue. 
And uh, purples, indigos in there, violet. Cool stuff that. Okay. Right, next up we're taking a jump to Classy Star G. So that is series. Okay. Um, moving on. Classy Star H. Go back to realistic. Aha, so here's an Earthlight world. 13 degrees. It is 966 years. It's still, look how large its semi-major axis is. 0.02% of a light year away from the star. And the star still looks absolutely giant. Larger than the sun looks from Earth. And it's 0.2 or 0 0.02 light years away. So, pretty crazy stuff there. And it also has stats uh, 92 and 66. Pretty cool. Nice. Now we've also got a uh, Cassie Star H1 here, a moon with a bit of uh, water going on as well. Okay. No life likelihood there here though. It doesn't look like it has an atmosphere. But yeah, there is that one. Alright. Next up we've got Brown Dwarf. Interesting take on a Brown Dwarf as well, actually. Nice. And it has some uh, smaller objects here too. What's all this about? Oh, some of these are moons so close together there. This wouldn't be a stable system, I don't think. Ooh, that is very dangerously close, some of those... Yeah, I reckon the, some of these moons would escape eventually. But yeah, there they all are there. Uh, e over here. Nice. Brown has got a bit of temperature, 400 degrees going on. Okay. Right, moving on. Quasi Star J. Another uh, blue world here? What have we got? Looks like an all-ocean world. Yep, okay. All ocean. Nice. Kazi Star J1 here. Another uh, originate moon, alright. Now moving on. Kazi Star K. I've seen a gash out like this before, actually. Okay, nice. And also got some moons. There's Io. Ganymede. Callisto, I'm guessing. And then there's Europa, we missed it. Okay, so that's basically Jupiter then, this uh, planet. Next up we've got Quasi Star I. Nice black and blue gas giant here. Interesting stuff. How far are we now? 0 0.606 light years. Okay, so that's triple or triple the distance of the one we were looking at earlier. These are all Saturn's moons here. You're just using the moons we already have. So this is a Saturn equivalent. Okay. So, star M. Okay. So, another moon here. So, these are all generic moons, I think. Yeah. Okay. Quite a nice looking gas giant as well. With the black and orange. Grey, black, grey and orange. Right, moving on to the last of the planets. Quasi star N. A very exotic um, coloured one. Let's see here. All right. Also got some moons to boot with it as well. Cool. All right, there we are. So that does it, though, for the quasi-star system. So let's actually see how far this last planet is. 0 0.9 light years away. It's almost a light year away, and the star still looks enormous in the sky from this distance. So, yeah, even at almost a light year, the quasi-star still appears larger than what our sun would probably um, from Earth. Yeah, that's a... That still appears very large from a surface view. That's crazy. 6,500 years to go around it. And yeah, it's a pretty, uh, pretty crazy thing. And I'm just looking. It's not a light year. This is 0 0.09 light years, not 0 0.9 light years. That's just me being silly. That's only 9% of a light year. I mean, if we were to put this guy to a full light year, well, let's see how far away the star would be there. So if I was to put this to 1, yeah. <laughs> there you go. So where's the Kasi star even gone? Yeah, I was going to say, I thought that was a rather large size for a light year, so. Where actually is it? <laughs> ah, there you go, there he is. Oh. Still is visible. It is still visible. Realistic. It is there. See, it just looks like any other star, though. We're a whole light year away. But it is there. Cool. Very nice indeed. So there we are. So that does it for the Quasi Star system, guys. So again, a massive thank you to the user U Ujavari Endi. Hope, hope I'm saying that name right. So yeah, massive thank you to them 
for uh, sending this system in. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 25,000 subscribers, guys. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.